We're out here in our amphibian pond where a bunch of salamanders and frogs have laid eggs for the spring. So we're going to look at what they've done. Well, we have this nice pond here that's great for amphibians, but the problem is the level changes a lot when it doesn't rain. And so these eggs, these are frog eggs, and they were laid when the pond was pretty high up. But now they're not in the water anymore. So if any of them are going to have a chance to make it, we need to get them back into the water. And hopefully it won't get too dry again. These ones are some salamander eggs. Uh, you can see they're a little further apart. These are more frog eggs. You see how they're really close together, really dark, and they're pretty much completely dried out. These guys are not looking very good either. But there you can see some on the bottom may still be okay. So we're going to just give them a toss into the water and see if they'll make it. At least give them a chance. Here's some good egg masses for salamanders that are looking really good. See, they're still in the water. If you look at some of them, you can see all the little larvae inside there. They're looking really good. That green, all the eggs are green because there's algae in there too. The algae are actually producing oxygen for those little salamander larvae. So these are probably Ambystum immaculata, which is the spotted salamander larva. But these guys are looking really good. These ones look pretty good too. Oh, well, these ones are a little too far inland, so we'll move them out here. Looks like this one. Let's see. This one's really cloudy, so I can't really see much inside, but you see those are smaller, rounder, so they're not as well developed. We'll get, get them out there so, so they can have a better chance. These ones, I'm just going to shift a little bit because they are, in case this dries up a little more before we get more rain. But you see these shiny spots? All these shiny spots are where egg masses were, and see these ones are dried out. There's probably nothing we can do about that. Is this one frog or salamander? This would be a salamander one. Um, they have those big bulbous nests and the little eggs inside of there. There may be a few in there that can make it, so we'll just toss that out there. Oh, that's a good salamander nest right there. And see? These, uh, see how these ones are still just little round eggs. They haven't really started developing much into those embryos, but that one looks pretty good. So as long as the water stays up, it's got a good chance. I was out here last week and doing the same thing, and the pond has dropped a lot since then, but... These are about halfway between those little round ones and the first ones we showed you. So they're developing, so let's give them the best chance we can get. When we put them back in the water, they have to be still close to the surface so that the algae can still get sunlight to photosynthesize and make oxygen. Otherwise, they'll all die. Well, that may be it for this side of the pond, which is good. This side of the pond stays a little deeper, but it doesn't seem that they lay their eggs here very often. That is very cold water. So this egg mass, you can see that some of them have started hatching. You might even see some of them wiggling around in there. And the ones that aren't inside the little green balls, those are out of their eggs, but they haven't gotten out of the jelly yet. So they're still working on that. You can see, yeah, these guys are ready to go. You can see their little eye right there. You've got gills, little salamander larvae there hatching out of their eggs and are going to get into the water now. So see this one there? He's on the surface. So as soon as I put this back in the water, he'll be free to go. But he probably won't go very far.